What up everybody, welcome to a special episode of Cannabis Lifestyle TV, it's your boy Trey here and today we have a very special guest, CEO of a up and coming cannabis brand, Deuces22, Tyler Sally. Thank you for taking the interview. Um, so she's 21 and the CEO of Deuces22, very exciting stuff um so i mean tell the people what what can uh what does deuces 22 provide what do they what does it do as a company deuces 22 is a premium cannabis brand that i started um with the help of my dad with some obstacles he's the chief visionary officer so he helps with me creating ideas and putting them to action um we right now we started with three pre- cannabis rolls, so they're going to be pre-rolled J's, and then eventually we're going to add on a bunch of different products, starting with the vape pen, and then we're going to get into the CBD world and do more topicals and stuff like that. But right now, we're focused on our three Sativa, Indica, and Hybrid um, pre-rolled J's. Okay, okay. I dig it, I dig it. See, um, I was interested, you know, I know uh, me and your dad had talked uh, previously, uh, you know, in, in the first interview, and it was always like upcoming, upcoming, and we were like, all right, what what is upcoming we want to know? So it's cool to get kind of a description of what to look forward to, you know? Yeah, it's called Deuces 22, it's peace sign, there are two of us, there's two J's back, it's going to be really dope. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know he said originally that was going to be the whole theme and, you know, formulating the idea down to the actual physical, as I'm sure you found out, is is a major trek. Oh, it's a long and tedious process, but definitely worth it because, like, one, I get to sample a bunch of weed, so I'm happy about that. But it takes a second to get all the ducks in a row, for sure. But once you get it right, because that was one thing we learned is, like, not everything is going to go perfect the first way so you have to like wait trial and error i mean i guess that makes sense with business but for me it's the first time i've ever had this experience where it's like my baby and i want only the best right right no i mean you probably have not if you haven't been in business before you've seen a business or you've been a customer you know and so it's like when you when you get your own shot you want to try and do it as as like meticulously well as possible, but then, you know, timing is, is also crucial too. So, um, so it's all related to cannabis and that's what we're about here, obviously cannabis lifestyle TV. But, uh, so we, we always like to ask kind of, when did you fall in love with Mary Jane? Like, what was your intro to cannabis? Obviously, you know, it's a little bit different demographic than say what I grew up with where like, you know, your, your pops is like, yeah, she enjoys cannabis, you know? So that's kind of a cool uh, mentality almost to have, you know, I don't know if you want to give a little background about, you know, your, your relationship with cannabis. Um, I, I mean, like I had this on and off relationship when I was in high school, but really I got injured at the end of high school and I got a concussion and I was taking all these different pain medicines and it wasn't really working for me. And I started I, I turned 18 and I got a med card and used that, I used the cannabis as a way. Who took you to get a med card? My dad took me to go get my med card. It was the first time I went to go, first time I smoked, a few days later I told my dad, I was like, so I smoked. And he was like, finally, shit, cool, we can, we can hang out. And um, when I got my med card, I just, I've always, um, I don't know, I use cannabis different ways i'll have my sativa for the morning i have my heavy indica for nighttime if i have a headache i have the cbd oil that i use that just boom right away gets me like ready to go so i have a very versatile relationship with cannabis but um i have to have it in my life i guess you can say it's just like a part of my my every day <laughs> no that's that's excellent to hear i mean we relate to that we were you know, oddly enough, just talking about, you know, our consumption, our tolerance, like, you know, are we freaks for how much we use it, you know, because again, just not the traditional thing of like, you know, micro dosing yourself throughout it, or maybe macro dosing in certain cases, because, you know, we, we smoke blunts, we, we, we edibles, you know, we, 
We occasionally do the concentrates, you know, it just is a variation because we use it medicinally as well as recreationally. Um, so, I mean, that's, uh, we can totally relate and, and just kind of gives the people like, okay, this girl knows what she's talking about. And it's funny that you kind of had the um, similar experience again with, with your pops about, you know, he had, you know, on these pills that they give you, you know, and, and I, you know, recently had surgery and they wanted to give me these narcotics and like, I took them as far as physically, but I, I, I barely took them because it's just like, I know it, I'm more scared of those than I am of a plant that I, you know, control and, and cultivate. I, I understand the idea of like, Oh, am I, am I doing too much? Am I, sm am I using weed in too many circumstances? But at the same time, it's like this beautiful versatile plant is exists for us to use in every kind of way. I personally have made it so that my life can like align with cannabis. I can always smoke, right? Like I don't necessarily have to be high, but I'm going to use um, CBD as a way to like make sure everything's cool. And then when I want to get high, like that's okay. Like for me, I understand um, that that's just now a part of who I am. I'm just, I'm a stoner and I'm cool with that. And I use it as much as I can. Um, now people come to me and ask me stuff. What vape should I get? Mine, by the way. <laughs> what, what pre roll should I smoke again? Mine, like different stuff like that, you know? And I'm, I'm into it. I just feel like now it's slowly changing because you know there's certain people that you talk to cannabis about and then other people that you're just like, hey, like, come over here, let me teach you some. And then there's other people they don't need to know yet. But I, I believe that times are changing, especially with my relationship with my dad, that like, we can, anyone can have this relationship with their parents if people just opened up and like accepted the new change, I guess. Absolutely. Yeah, well, you know, it's, I'm, I'm vibing with you a lot, which is cool. Because like, again, you know, my my mother was very anti like what you know lived through the 70s never tried it and I was like are you sure are you sure you know and she was like nope 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 and you know dealt with it in a in a not great way they had a bad experience with it through somebody you know what I mean close to her and this and that so you know but it came back around to where you know she opened up her mind you know maybe not herself but her mind so it's like you know having it in that every day breaking that stigma you know uh is is at the core what we're about here and and what i am as a person you know <laughs> cannabis is not just um what i do it is my lifestyle I and mean, I, I know that sounds corny but hey i live my brand you know that's well that's what it's supposed to be like it's just kind of like if you didn't embrace your brand fully then no one else would embrace your brand as you know what i mean like you have to get all the way in or else no one else is going to believe you because they don't they don't see your passion so i feel that I, I totally feel that no no i appreciate it i mean you know not to make it about me no <laughs> but <laughs> no i mean I, I wanted a background on you i knew that you and you and your dad you know obviously you guys are your, your dad's a legend we know that but as far as the the cannabis community you know like they want to see why they should pick you out of all the other options that they're going to have because I know from the different interviews about that you guys have been doing just you know the expo scene the 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 push and the plug and the learning the 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 pace of the industry is nuts but who you're catering to is the community and the more you put your roots in that the further and longer your brand will live on for sure exactly that's what I've been to explain I mean, not trying to, I, I guess I feel like I've gotten it across, but for a while um, it felt like I was c catering to my friends. Like, okay, let me make this brand so that my friends will be happy. Mm -hmm. And then I need to look past the things me and my friends liked and explore further out and to make sure that my products were something universal, something that, um, that's something I really focus on, at least with the pre-rolls is making sure that, if you were an experienced smoker, you would have a great time as well as someone who is new to smoking. So that's why for the first three flavors or strains that we came out with, they're 
um, they're not fancy. They don't have wax around them and keef, and it's not like this crazy joint that you're just going to get like smash on because it, there's no way that you couldn't. But right. the, like the weed is going to speak for itself in a way where it's like, well, we have two, so you can share it. But really, I think everyone should have their own. Everyone can fully enjoy each um, joint. And so that's that's something that I really focused on because I just felt like the weed should be able to speak for itself. I feel like that's a really important thing that um, people kind of just skim over. And that's something that I feel people will talk about, especially when you try someone's product and uh, it's, it's okay. This is like what I get in a pinch. I, I don't want that. I don't want you to have a bad taste in your mouth or try to say something nice. I want you to be like, dang, this is the bomb. Like <laughs> this sativa. I, I'm so organized right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, right. That's, that's um, the direction we were going. That's why I'm like very focused on what I got for each strain. Right. And I think that leads kind of perfectly uh, to one of the kind of key things I wanted to ask you was like, you know, and obviously don't give away all your, don't give away your special blend of herbs and spices necessarily, but you know, what, are we going to be looking for what was the quality control, uh, you know, through testing through like from, you know, seed to cultivation? Like, do you want to kind of say what, you know, sets deuces apart that you've been a part of hands on, you know, that the people aren't going to be like, oh, just a pinch, you know, in a pinch situation or, you know, I'm going to get a pre-roll house blend. What's, you know, why should I go for deuces? Well, it won't be a house blend. So it's going to each J they're going to be strain specific. Um, and I spent a few, I spent time making sure that it was there. All, all the strains that we even got to test were top shelf in a way where they were crystallized. They were pretty, they didn't have any pesticides added. It was an organic grow. Um, mm -hmm. But we, for our pre-rolls, they're going to be, only flower there's not going to be any sticks there's not going to be any brown undiscoverable i don't know what in there <laughs> it's only going to be premium flower premium top shelf flower like i'll tell you for now our sativa is very potent it's <laughs> beautiful fruity smell and um i think that it's just, it's one of those things, as soon as you smell, you know exactly what it is. It's not something that you're going to be like twisting. Oh, it's, it's weed. Like, no, it's, it's, it's weed with the flavor, with the strain, with a, a gender, a whole, I don't want to fully come out with it, but I know our sativa is going to be a tangy and, it's, okay. and you'll know it's a tangy you won't you're not gonna wonder oh that 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 was one of my main things because there was a few other brands we were originally going to work with this right. like specific deuces blend but i was very uh, um strong in saying that i wanted to have it as we focus on the flower and then put the flower in it in a j not focus on the j you know what i mean right like, for sure make sure that i like that i have different kind we had a whole beautiful taste testing that we're gonna have on our website soon so you'll see us get high after two hits it's <laughs> um but no that those are that's the main thing because i i i don't know maybe i'm just bougie but i don't like the word blend when it comes to my weed it's just not something i want to hear so when i i understand sometimes you have to but when it comes to my stuff i want it to be like oh no i i just rolled this j almost that's right and that I want to have where it's like fresh and clean and perfect. So that's what we got. Right. No, I mean, hey, you, you put it to them and it's up to them to, to you know, put it out there and, and go get it when it's available, you know, and, and you're, you know, primarily obviously going to be in California. You know, we obviously hope to see it spread for, you know, further throughout uh, different locations, you know. Yeah. But, you know, dream big. <laughs> Well, we're trying to come out in California and then definitely go to Michigan because we're really wanted in Michigan, apparently. Absolutely. And go to Colorado and Washington and Arizona. 
keep going. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start in California for sure. And then I'm, I really want to go to Michigan. One, my mom's from Michigan. My dad played there. Brand's called Deuces. And every day I get hit up by somebody in Michigan, like, yo, let me carry your stuff. So Right. No, I mean, there's definitely a loyalty to, you know, where you cultivate your cannabis and how you cultivate your cannabis if you are a true, you know, uh, purist, you know. And obviously your dad resonates with a lot of people here. And that, I feel like your guys' is, your heritage is going to get you a lot farther here, maybe so, than, than in California where it's so saturated or different places like that. You could really, you know, build on that kind of exclusive, you know, stuff. So that's really exciting to me, obviously. But, yeah, I want to see you guys just flourish. And it's awesome that you've had such a hands-on, um, you know, take on, on your business. And, and you're doing it, girl. And, 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 we're, and it's good to see Thank you so much. Absolutely. So, yeah, definitely think of us when you expand out to Michigan. Go and put that plug in there. Um, we, we appreciate you guys. And uh, uh, if you guys are watching this video, keep any kind of little hint of Deuces 22. John and Tyler are really putting something together for y'all to look. Keep on the – keep your peepers on, you feel me? So uh, – Come check us out. We're at deuces22.cannabis. I'm just going to plug myself real quick. Yeah, I, I was going to say plug the people. Check, okay. check you out. You know what I mean? I know everybody knows Pops, but I, not everybody knows Tyler, and that's what's important, and I know that's what he wanted to stress. Yeah. So uh, this is her. You know, she's okay. she's her daddy, but the gem of her daddy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that about wraps it up for an interview with Miss Tyler Sally. We appreciate her taking the interview. Anything you guys want to know about Deuces 22 up and coming, especially if you're in the California area, click the link in the description below. So go ahead and spark another blunt, watch another video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell next to subscribe to be notified every time we drop new content because it's always coming soon. So stay tuned and more importantly, stay lifted.